So if you've been watching my playtest videos um, playlist, uh, I thought I should update everyone. The RG351P got a system update the middle of this week. So I think that was around 11.5, 11.6. Um, and there was a bug in the first update. Uh, the community since fixed it. Now, I'm not going to walk you through how to do the settings and everything. Retro Game Core has really covered that and has their own video. And I don't want to just remake what they've done and steal attention from them. So hop over to their site. There's a written text guide and a video and that should help you with it. But basically you just have to drag a new system file and check some onto the device and reboot it. Um, you should copy your old one somewhere on your hard drive and save it as old so you have something to fall back to if it doesn't work. What we found was that in PS or PPSSPP, the emulator, the standalone one, not the RetroArch core, uh, there was four frames of frame skip forced on by default, even if you had the settings turned off. And this update fixed that. Also, there's some community settings um, that seem to fix some, like make some games more playable. So the first thing I'll show you is Need for Speed Underground because this was like really stuttery and bad uh, in the video I did earlier. I mean, you could kind of play it, but it was not great. So let's, once we get past the load screen, I'll load a quick save here. Oh, yes, we know. Okay. Oops, wrong button. Come on. PPSSPP by default uses B to confirm instead of A. So you will see up here, the frame rate drops to uh, 26, that we're down to the into the 15s but the game is much more playable now and the music's not stuttering. Sorry, a little hard to run my camera and drive. that works now I mean it's at least playable it's probably not perfect and then oop. Daxter which had some really bad I mean you could kind of play it before but it had some noticeable slowdown and stutter issues This was running at like 24 frames before you could kind of play it, but I see, I still see some hiccuping from time to time, but I think you could play this if you wanted to. Let me get to, I don't need to go up there where that yellow beam is. So you can see that's playable. Um, who else?
Oh, uh, Lumens was a hot mess last time. Check this out. I don't think I have a quick state save for this one. So that works now, and that was not the case before. What doesn't work so well, I'll tell you, God of War is still a complete stuttering mess. It's not playable at all. Uh, Metal Slug already ran great. Uh, Wipeout gained a little bit of smoothness, but it's still not playable. So I'll show you that now. God of War, we know that on some other emulators, there's a cheats file that seems to unlock frame rate. Like there's an internal frame rate lock and you seem to need to use a cheats file to kind of get it up to full speed in some handhelds. Uh, the community on this hasn't got that sorted yet. We're all eagerly awaiting uh, a build of Arcos for the RG351 and that should take it to 64 bit and make it much more uh, powerful. Menus are smoother now. It always started real bad at, at start. So you can see we're running like 60% of real speed here. So I mean, yeah, you can kind of do it. It's like having cheats because it's so much slower, but it's not super enjoyable. But I will tell you the fix for that is instead of playing Wipeout Pure for PSP, play the PlayStation version. Yeah, PlayStation runs nearly full speed. I mean, most PlayStation on this device is great. Yeah, so you can see like 80% speed, 60% speed, not great. Uh, so that's kind of the state of PSP right now. Again, I'm still using uh, Emulec 3.7, the factory build, and then I've applied the system update. Um, the original system update had an issue where it blew out your um, FTP password if you were transferring files in over, the, over an internet connection or a local network connection. The community patched that, so you'd want to use the build that is hosted on, um, there's a link to it on Retro Game Course uh, guide. Use that build, because that one will uh, avoid the locking you out of your Wi-Fi settings. Uh, and I'm sure that at Burnick will drop another version of it at some point. But um, State of the Union on PSP, it's... It's okay, 2D stuff seems to work pretty well. RPGs that use a lot of menus seem to work pretty well. Other than that, it's hit or miss. Um, if there's a PlayStation version, what you wanna play, that's gonna run better. Um, but everything below PlayStation seems to run super great. Dreamcast in 64, it's hit or miss. Probably will get better when we get full 64-bit support on an OS for this thing. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the playlist, and as I get new stuff that happens in this community, I'll test it and put it here. Thanks.